Okay, then coming to the signs as such in first trimester. Apart from amenorrhea and breast changes, breast changes we are uh, getting the sign as such in uh, first trimester is the Montgomery's tubercles, the development of Montgomery's tubercle, which is nothing but the sebaceous cyst, uh, like sebaceous gland encystation. Okay, so that is regarding Montgomery's tubercle. Then coming to abdomen, we don't get any sign as such in abdomen in first trimester, particularly in first trimester. Uh, but uh, in, in coming to the pelvic signs, we'll get some. Uh, we can notice or we can elicit some signs. So starting from Chartwick sign, we'll try to explain it. Chartwick sign is the dusky hue or the color change in the anterior vaginal wall. Okay, due to the hormonal changes and all, uh, we'll get that color change. So what happens, uh, Chartwick sign, when it is going to elicit us, it is from the 8th week. So from the name itself, Chartwick, we'll get art week. So art week is 8th week. So from that it is clear that it is elicited from 8th week. Then coming to the next is the synonymous name to Chadwick sign is Jacumer sign. So try to remember that when we are standing quite a long time in a queue, what happens? The discoloration occurs. Okay, so that is regarding Q, Jacumer's. Jacumer's sign is synonymous to Chartwick sign which is causing discoloration. Then coming to the next very important sign is Osiander sign. Osiander, Osiander. So OC. OC, oscillation, oscillation of phonics. Oscillation is considered as oceander sign. That is nothing but a pulsation, pulsation of anterior phonics. So that is called as oceander sign. From, from, from O, you can get easily 8. Okay, so that is regarding oceander sign. And can, then coming to the most important one, which is called as Goodell sign. Goodell sign is nothing but it's the softness which is elicited so it is called as good cervix you can remember it as good cervix which clearly indicates cervix six 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 cervix cervix so it is a change a noticing in the cervix and as such it is observed in sixth week so that is clear from goodell sign then coming to the other signs uterine signs which can be elicited both of them like uh, hegar sign and palmer sign which can be elicited only by by manual examination so that is important only through by manual examination we can elicit hegar sign and palmer sign it is nothing but hegar sign is uh, obtained due to the softness itself and palmer sign is obtained as such due to the rhythmic contractions Okay, so Hegar sign, which is the time period, uh, which is very, very important. And trying to remember Chegar sign, Chegar sign from now onwards. So try to remember Hegar sign as Chegar sign. So Chegas, what I mean to say is Chegar, Che, Che is sixth week. Okay, so from sixth week, you can elicit Hegar sign. And Palmer sign, try to remember it as Palmer's, 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 Palmer's. So you just imagine more, the, the earlier name of Palmer's sign was not Palmer's. Just a joke, okay. Uh, it is not palm sign, it is palm char sign, palm char sign, palm char sign. Okay, so after pronouncing it for so many times, palm char sign, palm char sign, palm char sign, palm char sign, palm char sign though, though it gets eliminated and the word ultimately went to a status of palm sign. Okay, so uh, so that that you can remember it as char char. So from the fourth week, it is elicited. So these are regarding the first trimester signs and symptoms. Then